Hello, hi. Welcome to my first class on chapter 4, Quadratic Equation. In this class, I am going to give just an introduction to Quadratic Equation. Suppose you want to construct a rectangular path in your home and its area, let its area be 200 meters square but there is a condition the condition is its length is 3 more than twice the breadth since we don't know the breadth let breadth is equal to x meter breadth of the park is equal to x meter then can you say what is its length length is 3 more than twice its breadth that means 3 more than twice its breadth you can write as 2s and 3 more than twice means 2s plus 3 this much meter so you know length and breadth then how can you calculate its area yes area is equal to length into breadth that is 2x plus 3 into x this gives the area but area you know it is 200 now simplify it multiply 2x into x it is 2x square plus 3 into x is 3x is equal to 200. Now transpose 200 to one side, what will you get? 2x square plus 3s minus 200 is equal to 0. Here, look at the LHS. LHS is 2x square plus 3s minus 200. This is familiar to you. You have seen this in the chapter polynomial. Yes, it is a quadratic polynomial and which is equal to 0. Now, this becomes a quadratic equation. That means a quadratic polynomial equate to 0, you will get a quadratic equation. Now, let me take some examples of quadratic equation. x square minus 2s plus 3 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. And 1 minus x square minus 2 x is a quadratic equation x square minus 1 is a quadratic equation in this way you can write many examples now what is the standard form of a quadratic polynomial the standard form of a quadratic polynomial is x square plus bx plus c where a not equal to c then can you say What's the standard form of a quadratic equation? Yes, it is h square plus bx plus c equal to 0. That means a quadratic polynomial equal to 0. You will get a quadratic equation. So in general we can say a quadratic equation in the variable x is an equation of the form a h square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. Now let me take an equation. Here you have an equation x, is x minus 2 the whole square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. You have to check whether this equation is quadratic or not. You, now let me simplify this. x minus 2 whole square is in the form of a minus b whole square and that you know that it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here this you can write it as x square minus 2 into x into 2 plus 2 square that is a minus x minus 2 the whole square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 that is x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 that is x square minus 4x plus 5 
is equal to 2x minus 3. Now you transpose 2x minus 3 to LHS, what will you get? It is x square minus 4x plus 5 minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. That is x square minus minus 4x minus 2x. It is minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. This is in the form of x square plus bs plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, this is a quadratic equation. Now, let me take another example. The question is x plus 2 the whole cube is equal to x cube minus 4. In LHS, it is in the form of a plus b whole cube. Do you know what is a plus b whole cube? a plus b whole cube, you can write it as a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube. If it is so, x plus 2 whole cube you can write it as x cube plus 3 a square means x square into 2 plus 3 a b square means 3 into x into 2 square, 2 square it is 4 plus 2 cube is equal to x cube minus 4. RHS is x cube minus 4. Simplify it. That is x cube plus 3 x square into 2 means 3 into 2 6 x square. Now plus 3 into 4 it is 12 x plus 8. 2 cube is 8 is equal to x cube minus 4. Now transpose x cube minus 4 here. It is x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 minus x cube plus 4 is equal to 0. Now here you can see x cube minus x cube it is 0. Now it will be 6x square plus 12 x. Now 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 equal to 0. This is also in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Therefore this is also a quadratic equation. Let me take one more example. x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. Let us simplify it. You get x into x x square plus x into 1 x plus 8. Now x plus 2 into x minus 2. It is of the form a plus b into a minus b. And it, you know that it is a square minus b square. So this is x square minus 2 squared. That is x square plus x plus 8 is equal to x square minus 4. Now transpose x square minus 4 to the LHS. You get x square plus x plus 8 minus x square plus 4 equal to 0. Now here x square minus x square becomes 0. So you get x plus 8 plus 4 is 12 equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? No. Because this is not in the form of x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we can write the conclusion as since this is not of the form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, it is not a quadratic equation. It is not a quadratic equation. So if it is quadratic equation, you can say since this is of the form x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0, it is a quadratic equation. Now let us do some textbook exercise.
Here is your exercise 4.1. Check whether the following are quadratic equations or not. Now what you have to do is, you have to simplify it. If it is of the form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then you can say it is a quadratic equation. If not, you can write it is not a quadratic equation. Here you have another question. Represent the following situations in the form of a quadratic equation. There are four word problems given here. You have to just form an equation. You read the question and do accordingly. Here are your answers. Do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.